All right, guys, Pluto here. Today we are playing Oxygen Not Included, my new favorite game. I have been absolutely obsessing about this one. I uh, saw Dragast play that on his channel. It looked adorable, and I just needed to get in on it. I watched some other YouTubers as well, kind of had a little more advanced strategy, and uh, learned a lot. So I've recorded a video before this and of my third attempt, and I had a kind of a decent water filtration system going, and but really I've, I've learned so much since then. So I got a great base here. I actually have some uh, real tips for you this time. I have a farming area. I have a bunch of power areas. I have multiple working plumbing areas, uh, good sleeping arrangements, and I'll show you that stuff, and some mining zones, and uh, yeah, a lot of oxygen generation. So I'll just show you... Uh, how it works. So uh, basically, here's where I started. Now, initially, the first bunch of playthroughs, you see on the map, there's these kind of natural pockets. When I watched Dragas play, he sort of made his base around these natural air pockets the first time I saw him. And I did that as well. And I went through and, and had some okay successful runs. When I watched other YouTubers, they kind of did more of this system here. They just... They didn't care. They were just like, okay, dig function, dig out this, you know, and uh, really did not worry about what the terrain overall looked like, just gathered all the resources from it. So now you can see, I have this apartment looking area. Look at my oxygen generation, huge amounts. I've got all these piles of poop here just generating the saturations just through the roof. And even though I have coal generators, you can see, I have um, basically these uh, water purifiers and air scrubbers scrubbing out the carbon dioxide as the coal generators are created. They're great power. They make it so that they can just deliver coal to that. Things are powered and uh, the guys don't have to run on the hamster wheels. At the same time, the coal generators do create carbon dioxide. So I'm actively, you can see here, the air scrubber's working. It is moving. When it needs to scrub, it'll go to right to the purifier and it'll spit it out into here, already clean water. Before I had basically one of these holes would be full of foul water and foul air. And then I'd be pumping that back through a purifier. This, I realized, you could just put... And you can see my shower system here. I have my laboratory and my shower. And the shower is being used right now, so this is good. You can see clean water is going in. And I have all these pipes connecting into one. And there's a bunch of foul water, contaminated water, uh, going into the water purifier. That's then spitting back out into this main reservoir. And none of this... Uh, is contaminated water. As you can see, this is just normal water. And I'm handling the carbon dioxide. There's no carbon dioxide in my sleeping areas, as you can see. Now there's a sleeping area up here, and you, you may wonder why. Uh, this cot belongs to Sassy. Now Sassy is a snorer. She's, she's loud. So she is uh, put away from the group. So eventually, once you get enough guy, and I think I have 11 or 12 duplicates at this point, uh, you're going to want to move your snore away from the group. You don't have to move them that far. See, I can harvest some. Now I have, this is a good time to uh, talk about this because I need to harvest right now. My farming area, multiple. You see, the plants grow double time in the light. I did an experiment. It is double the percentage gained for growth while you have a nice light. So you can see I have electricity here, my electricity grid. Uh, we're showing nice light through here. And I think, yeah, there's a light. There we go. We can have a light diagram. And also, look, another farming area. We got light. We got mealwood ready to harvest. I never, ever run uh, the, the mush creator machine because it gives them diarrhea. It's very slow. It takes a man to do it. I prefer just having huge amounts of plants under light creating it. And I really do not have um, any problems with uh, calories, so that's fine. And 
I do have a lot of these algae terrariums. I do have a lot of the poop piles around, but at the same time, you can see I got paintings, sculptures, lights, stuff that they actually like. Uh, I have actually a masterpiece over here. Oh, look at that. We got the Mona Lisa of duplicates. Gorgeous. Uh, down through here, I was very proud of this area. This just used to be a, just a pit of carbon dioxide and death. And I basically made this into this dual air scrubber vent area. And I'm eventually going to run out of oxygen. Or oxygen. Hopefully not. Uh, I'm going to run out of water here. And so I've already created, you can see an even deeper well. I've got some clean water here. So I've dropped a liquid pump down there and I have already a backup air scrubber. This place used to just be red, red, red with carbon dioxide. So I got 12 of these little guys breathing. I have coal areas going and you can see I'm managing it. Yes, I know down here is carbon dioxide. That's fine. They don't like to hang out there anyway. This liquid pump <clears throat> is not in liquid anymore. That's bad. So actually, I'm going to need to uh, I'm show you how I do it. I'm going to move the liquid pump down to here, go into my power, take wiring because it'll need to be powered, feed that to it. Okay, then we're going to need to go to plumbing, get a liquid pipe. These are simple. This is just an output, so nothing too complex there. We could drop that there. We could disable this building or even deconstruct it, doesn't matter. Let's go into our priority menu. Let's go priority nine, highlight that. Now they're gonna, the duplicates are gonna be like, oh, okay, like he really wants me to do this. <laughs> you cannot directly control their movement. You just kind of request different priority tasks and they may or may not handle it first. Sometimes they can be troublesome. Okay, so now here's the sleep cycle. <clears throat> I have their beds assigned. You can see they're indicating they are sleepy and adorably they will all go. You can see Sassy here and you can see this shockwave pattern around her snoring. All right, boom, it comes out. These guys are all quiet sleepers. They're all adorable. Honest Abe needs to uh, go to the bathroom here at night. So does uh, Nerdy Gertie. I named most of these guys, Jim Dandy, Sleepy Joe, Pengu, Dig Dat, Max, Lungs, Jackaboy, uh, AEO, and Peeps. When they're sleeping is a good time to think about stuff. So yeah, I got a great, I have this shower, bathroom area that filters all through. I've got a bunch of carbon dioxide scrubbers because I have coal generators. Carbon dioxide is heavier than air, so it does fall. It's very realistic. So here at the bottom of my map area, I have a bunch of air scrubbers and all the systems with that, the plumbing systems. I got the bed area all within oxygen. I have food generation. I have a large amount of people and a large amount of area covered. Uh, it seems that everything is going well. We are at cycle 29. I, I often around cycle 23 or so, the last four playthroughs, I would just crap out. So very happy right now. Absolutely loving this game, getting a better hold of it. I'm liking this just general apartment design where in the safe zone, you clear out this big just performance space. And then as you can see, eventually I'll have to build into the slime and algae. But my research is, look at that, I could... I can start that. I only have one more. I have all the research able to convert slime into algae so I can still use it for my machines. Various things like that. I can turn contaminated air into good air, contaminated water into good water. So eventually the next task is I'll be pressing here to the east and uh, building filtration systems, building air locks, and really turning up as far as the technology is concerned. I'm sure I will fail. Uh, that people will get poisoned. I may have to restart <laughs> in the next video. Uh, it may look nothing like this. So we'll see uh, what happens when I press into the poison here. Uh, wish me luck. I uh, love this game. Oxygen not included. Everyone should play this. It's just the alpha, so it works flawlessly as far as I'm concerned. Uh, and um, they'll be adding more, I hope. So yeah. Check this out. I'm going to put more videos uh, of this because I love it. And um, yeah, it's, it's good to see you guys again. Have a great day.